Right. On Saturday, the morning began with Weather Nation's Ben McMillan and Robin Lawrence and shadowing one of the Doppler on Wheels crews with Dr. Josh Werman, leader of the Center for Severe Weather Research. This team is responsible for documenting the highest ever recorded winds, 318 miles per hour in the May 3rd, 1999 tornado that devastated more in the suburbs of Oklahoma City. Throughout the weekend, the team followed several severe thunderstorms, gathering more data to build on our knowledge of tornado formation, with the number one goal of increasing warning times to save lives. As the day wore on Saturday, storm after storm developed in a handful of states. Small hail covered the ground in Cope, Colorado, and it was a good sign that some of the storms were reaching severe limits. Then, near Eckley, Colorado, this rotating supercell thunderstorm threatened to drop a tornado. Weather Nation's Ricky Faust and Martin Herrera were on it as it lowered. Then, over the course of the next hour, multiple tornadoes touched down in Yuma County, Colorado. Tornadoes on top of that hill. You can see the dust right there. As Weather Nation's Tim Jones rolled into Ray, Colorado, the dirt was already being kicked up on the ground nearby as another funnel dropped. And once clear of the buildings, the full view showed the tornado on the ground. As it moved, it sucked up tons of freshly plowed dry soil. And every once in a while, it whipped up little satellite funnels around its edges. This tornado was on the ground for miles. And by the time it had dissipated, it had knocked down power lines, damaged homes, and tossed trailers along its path. Now we're getting into the peak of severe weather season in the U.S. now, so stay weather aware. Have multiple ways to get warnings and know where your safe place is at home and at work. For Weather Nation, I'm John Van Pelt.